Hey everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm here to do the Hamilton book tag. So Hamilton was released on Disney Plus July 3rd and I watched it with my family over the weekend. It was a whole thing that we did and it was pretty good. I never saw Hamilton on Broadway because it's expensive and difficult to get in. <laughs> so I got to see it on the TV. Not the same thing, but pretty close. Now this tag was created by Maureen a few years ago when Hamilton was like a big thing. So this tag is old, but I saw a few people doing it, so I thought I would do it as well. All right, the first question is the room where it happens, a book world you'd want to put yourself in. So I was thinking about this and I don't think I'd want to be in any fantasy world. I just don't feel like being around supernatural creatures at the moment. So I just stay in a contemporary setting and I just chose a place I'd want to visit. <laughs> And for that, I chose the Henna Wars, which takes place in Ireland. Now, I'm hoping to go to Ireland next year if everything works out in my life. <laughs> so this book is about two girls who are competing in a henna business. And it is an adorable female-female romance. Super cute. And yeah, you should definitely check it out because it is a new release. All right, and the next question is Skylar Sisters, underrated female character. So I chose an underrated female series, and that is Truth Witch by Susan Denner. This book is definitely not talked about enough. It features strong female friendship. There is some romance, and it is just like a great series. Susan Denner is just amazing. It is about two Thread Sisters who are trying to piece things together. Now I have not read the latest book in this series but this is definitely a series everyone should check out. It is just filled with great friendship. Next question is my shot. A character that goes after what they want and doesn't let anything stop them. And for that I chose You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson and Lizzie is someone who just goes after what she wants. She wasn't able to pay for school so she goes and enters the prom queen competition and she's just constantly challenging the ideas of what people think of her and I also loved this book. It is a debut, came out last month and she is definitely a character that I enjoyed reading about. All right next question is stay alive. A character you wish was still alive warned for spoilers. So I'm not really gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna bring up the book. It is in the Throne of Glass series, Kingdom of Ash. This is the miniature coll collection. That's why this is so small. But it's at the end. Like if you know, you know. Like almost everyone cried at this part. It was heartbreaking. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on it. Next question is Burn. The most heartbreaking end to relationship you've ever read. So most of the people that I went together do end up together, so I don't really have too many for this. And, but I did choose, this is kind of like an easy one, but I chose Twilight and it's New Moon when you know what happens and it is just heartbreaking. It is the one time I like teared up a bit and got really upset. So I know it's an easy answer, but I did it. I went for it. <laughs> Next question is, you'll be back, sassiest villain. And I chose Sebastian from the Mortal Instrument series. I love Sebastian. I think he was done wrong in this book. I think he should have been handled so much better, but it is what it is. And yeah, I loved him. The next question is the Reynolds pamphlet, a book with a twist that you did not see coming. Warn for spoilers. So I was a fan of the Red Queen series. I was reading them when they were coming out and then I stopped reading them. <laughs> but I still think about Glass Sword. This is the last book I read in the series. I always want to continue on. I just haven't because that's what you do when you start series. You just don't complete them. <laughs> and the end of this book was a twist and I just remember it being like super impactful. So this is the first book I thought of when I thought of a twist. Next question is Nonstop, a series you marathoned. I marathoned The Discovery of Witches, I think like two months ago. I did them on audio and I'm doing this thing where I'm marathoning series if I start them on audio just because 
like the last question i start a series and just don't finish them so if i start them on audio i want to finish them so i've actually done discovery witches i did strange dreamer and i'm gonna do hank green's book to um an absolutely remarkable thing as well those are just a few series i've binged next question is satisfied favorite book with multiple povs so I guess this might be kind of cheating, but I chose the Lunar Chronicle series. So technically each book is from a different perspective. They don't really have multiple point of views, but you're telling the same story from different people. I don't know, but I love the Lunar Chronicles. I love the series. It was just, I binged Red Cinder. Crest is my favorite. It's just such a fun series. I love the retellings of each story and it's a great sci-fi. Next question is, who lives, who dies, who tells your story? A book series you feel will be remembered throughout history. I chose The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I think this is a book that will be talked about forever. It is still talked about. It is still released in hardback. It is, I don't think they make paperbacks of The Hate You Give in the U.S. And this book is just extremely impactful and I think it will be talked about for years. So there's some bonus questions and the first bonus question is helpless, a relationship you're pulling from from the very start. Now we don't know they're officially endgame because the series has not really started and that is Nesta and Cassian from the Akatar series. They are having their own series but as soon as I saw them in here I'm with them and I just wish they end up together like I don't want anything to happen to them same thing with I can't remember Farrah's other sister's name and Lucian I think they they're gonna end up together I do not want her <laughs> with Azrael like I want her with Lucian so we'll see what happens in these next three books those might be like controversial opinions but that's that's how I want it <laughs> Next question is 10 Dual Commandments, favorite fight scene. So I chose the fight scene that's in Empire of Storms. It is when they're on the pirate ship and that whole moment, I love that part. I just think it's so dynamic and everything just works out and it's one of my favorite scenes in here. So the next question is say no to this, guilty pleasure read. So I've talked about this before, but I don't really feel guilty in the things that I like. I mean, I like it, I enjoy it, and there's no reason to feel bad about it. But if I have to choose a book, The Selection, because it's The Bachelor kind of dystopian. <laughs> and it's just like a fun read, and it's not really makes you think you're just enjoying it because it's there and it's... You know, it's like when you marathon Night Day Fiance. It doesn't add anything to your life. You're just watching it because it's on and you're like, this is someone entertaining and that's a selection. It's just entertaining. It's not challenging whatsoever. Next question is, what comes next? A series you wish had more books. So this isn't a series. This is definitely like a standalone contemporary, but I wish there would be a companion novel because I just want to know more about their lives and just keep following them because I love the character so much. But it's Felix Ever After from Case and Calendar. I love Felix and Ezra. They're just adorable and I just want to follow them and just see how their lives turn out because yeah, this is like one of my favorite books. It also came out last month and I loved it. Also, I want more Twilight books, but we're slowly getting there. So that is it for the Hamilton book tag. The questions are down below if you're interested in seeing them or wanting to actually do the tag yourself. And let me know if you saw Hamilton, if you enjoyed it, if it wasn't your thing. And thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye.